Susan, if you would please call the roll. Okay. Todd Pollock. Here. Chris Leiter. Here. Kenny Green. Here. J.D. Jones. Here. Kirby Melvin. Crystal Hines. All right. Thank you, Susan. Mm -hmm. uh, the main reason uh, for this meeting, there's two. Road department, uh, they need some new chainsaws. That's, uh, that's one of the things they need, and the sooner we can get them uh, their chainsaws, we just need approval. I think Mike was telling me like 180 bucks a piece. I, I don't know that number. Maybe they were size 180. 180. There's a lot. He's got 16 inch blades. He's one All right. Ones. All right. There you go. Where I ordered is the ones he's currently got is. Well, I think he said that one was wore out. Fairly old. Yeah. And I think with the trees falling down and stuff, and they're cleaning up roads, uh, that's where he's getting into the need for these. Uh, Two new chainsaws. So he's needing two at, at 180. Oh, no, I think and that may be wrong, Kenny. Kenny, I think he was calling them the steel 180. Is that right? Oh yeah, I don't say that sounds awful cheap for chainsaws. Yeah, you have the Polaris for 180, but they're good for home use. Craig's Duke Center in Carroll's got the steel MS 170 for 179. Oh. 16 inch bolt. He was wanting a longer bar for one. He ran it by me the other day when I just talked to him pretty much in passing. Right. Did we get a, a state price or any kind of break on these? Yeah, we do get that. Depending on, I think, where you get them at. Yeah. And I think Craig's owners at the government price. Um, I texted him to get some more specifics. I guess he's still on Webster Lane. Uh, <laughs> and I was out at the landfill, so I missed him. Uh, but we can come back to that. Okay. Uh, the, the big reason for this meeting was we had uh, an employee that I did not reappoint and has been requesting uh, to get paid for comp time, get paid for vacation time, get paid for the first week of January. And uh, we had given him checks for vacation time um, for the for the three weeks in January because he claimed that he uh, was still employed with us in January he should have his vacation time paid uh, okay here's your check we're done but then he come back and wanted to get paid for the first week of January although he did not work in the first week of January so I, I didn't feel that this, the county should should write that check. Uh, then he sent a, uh, and you got him in this packet. We got this uh, this request for uh, open records request, wanting uh, pay timesheets from this gen for this individual and uh, paycheck stubs for this individual. Well, you guys had heard me say that there was this particular employee the budget said this person should make 32,000 a year but I did not understand why they made 43,000 so if we just go through the, the paycheck stubs that we were getting together for this freedom of information request we see that on a paycheck stub from November 16th of 2018 This person was paid for 219 and a half hours of comp time. This is while they were employed for $5,206.54. Okay, you can only carry 250 uh, comp time hours, right? Mm -hmm. But two weeks later, on November 30th, this person got another check for more comp time hours uh, for a gross amount of five thousand three hundred one dollars and forty two cents and that was two hundred twenty three hours so we've looked through time sheets you if you're going through uh, the 2017 time sheets on this individual you will see about some time in the um, in somebody else's I'll go back to my packet uh, you will see uh, okay on the, the first one, it shows where he was, this individual was paid 219 and a half hours of comp time. Uh, 
for the pay period October 22 through November 4, which would have been that November 16th paycheck. And then two weeks later, he gets paid for 223 and a half hours comp time that we're only allowed to carry 250. And that there's nothing in our administrative code that says we pay uh, for comp time when you're still an employee. I've, I've been looking online trying to find where it says we pay comp time. Mm -hmm. And I haven't been able to find a statute that says you pay comp time. It talks about comp time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't talk about paying comp time. I, I'm not saying it's not there. I'm just saying I haven't found it. Right. Well, and, and the way we have it is you you take time off. Yes. You know, that's what that's mainly the main reason for that is because when people do work overtime, we realize, or whoever decided on this comp time, that people were burning out of their jobs. Unless, so you, it, unless, it, unless you, uh, employment ends. Right. Then we pay it yes, out. And, then, and then we can, up to 250 hours. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, so this, this individual, uh, I'm trying to find, okay, here's a, oh, that was November. And at some point in these, these time sheets, you can soon realize the individual didn't work over 40 hours a week. So how did they accumulate an hour of comp time, let alone 400 something hours worth? And then to take a check, two checks, over $10,000, and if you add in the 7.65% the that the county has to match on their social security, it's over $11,000 that this individual cost the county on November 30th which would have been Jerry's last day. When, when I did see it, I, the auditor has been out here working. I come out here and ask him. I said, I don't know what to do with this, but I know it ain't right. He, he said that, that I had to contact the county attorney and uh, see what she said. She said, call a special meeting and talk about it in executive session. Um, I don't see any need to go to an executive session. We're not naming anybody at this point. And we're not talking about disciplining anybody. We're not talking about buying anything. But I think the court needs to be aware of this because it's going to come out in next year's audit. It's not my administration. Those checks were on your alls when you all were looking at the table. You all didn't see two, four thousand checks come through to an employee in your packets. Right. I don't know why, but you didn't. Then they were signed by two people. I don't know how somebody goes from making paycheck of eight hundred ninety-nine dollars every two weeks to all of a sudden they got a four thousand dollar paycheck two weeks in a row. Nobody saw that. Well, it, maybe I'm not understanding comp time right. I thought okay. comp time was if you work ten hours today rather than getting paid them two hours overtime, you took comp time. In other words, you could take off two hours or, or times. Mm -hmm. Time you're you're right, Kenny. Whatever. Yeah. That, and so you can you can do either one. You I can take the pay, you know, take the overtime pay, if you go over forty hours a week, or put the time on the shelf so right. that you can take off and later. You would get a forty-hour check even though you work forty hours because you use comp time for that. Yeah. Well, I don't see how you accumulate the comp time. I mean, I'm like you. I'd, I'd have you've got to work overtime to accumulate. Right. That's mm -hmm. what. It don't make sense why anybody would get paid for it is what I'm trying to say. I guess. Right. So. Right. Unless they're taking off. And and this this the the calculations of how how these hours come about. And I I wish I had been back here earlier from the uh, landfill because it, it one of these it shows shows a balance of 352 hours comp time. And then just a couple months later it's up to 408. So. Mm. I mean, you got to again. You got to work forty hours a week. Um, so I, my position is, um, this is coming out on next year's audit. Uh, I want. I would like the court to weigh in on this. And I also yep. have. Uh, I also have Dan here, who can tell us some things about some of these timesheets. Well, for, beyond the comp, first thing I think. Of, if he's requesting for what December 30th to January 6th mm -hmm. and he didn't work, I think that'll be 
including one of, that vacation one of the three weeks vacation just me thinking if i'm not mistaken not to interrupt but an appointment ends at judge executive term to judge executive term yeah you were actually appointed december 1st i thought uh, you really i thought it was in november when jerry left december 1st december. okay december 1st his job mm -hmm. technically ended december 1st Good he has nothing to do in january by oh that's right by the way it's written appointees judge executive term to judge executive term so he really has like chris said nothing in there right and we can stand on that well right. i think and no call no show you, you was appointed in december to mm -hmm. fulfill jerry's term yeah that's Your true my first month was actually just finishing take, jerry's start till january 6th so january, yeah, 6th. Okay. it's very tricky how they do that yeah i mean yeah. it's yeah. very tricky but still, I think the first week's pay would be one week vacation. That's the way I looked at it. Yeah. That's the way I still look at it. But I mean, he basically just didn't show up, right? Right. I mean, he didn't call in sick. Didn't. Yep. And he had turned in, uh, and Dan can speak to this. He, Dan Flinkfelt from Henry County, uh, he's their animal control guy. He can speak to when, and I think he, we've got a letter here, uh, yeah. when this individual dropped off the keys. Uh, kind of washed his hands of things uh, in December. Yeah. And there's there's some time on these timesheets where it shows he was working when uh, Dan can tell you guys that he was actually uh, in Chicago for a couple of weeks. But it shows him working. It was October, wasn't it, Dan? I believe so, yes. I'll come by time, so. Oh, well, there you go. the conversation over. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I jump right in. I'm told I, I, I have no problem paying somebody for work that they didn't right. do Absolutely. Or, or earn. And yeah, right. That's what's got me confused about the whole comp time thing. Mm -hmm. you know, Who is eligible for comp time? Full time employees. Full time or eligible. Mm -hmm. That's me. Thank you for making it crystal. Sorry, I just got out of court. It's all right. Mondays are difficult. We're working on it. That's okay. Yeah. Any hours over 40. Has Kept she, you there too, huh? Has she, got, has she seen, you, uh, she got a copy of all this? Oh. I just have the agenda. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have this. Crystal, what, what started this and what the, uh, to have the meeting was when, uh, <clears throat> when these, this party was requesting a paycheck for the first week of January. Okay. We had already wrote that three week vacation check that this person would have been entitled to as an employee in 2019. But then he still wanted one, one paycheck for January, the first week of January. I didn't agree that the county should pay that since we had just paid his vacation time. He did not work, so let's call that first week part of your vacation. Uh, the person wasn't satisfied. They filed a uh, information records request. Uh, so when Vicki was putting that uh, packet together of all that information that they wanted, and I think you were CC'd uh, in that fax, weren't you? No, I was just CC'd on the email, his uh, request email. Okay, all right. Well, we got it by fax. Okay. And uh, we start looking at uh, check stubs. And uh, on November 16th of 2018, uh, this person was paid for 219 and a half hours of comp time at the rate of $5,206.64. And then two weeks later on November 30th, this person was paid for 223 and a half hours comp time at $5,301.42. Uh, and it wasn't approved by the judge? I don't see questions. I don't see anything in his time sheets that shows it was. And in our own administrative code it says 250 hours is your cap and it says nothing in there about uh, uh, giving employees the opportunity to take, take a paycheck for those hours. And at that time, November 16th and November 30th, that person was an employee. And, and, and even to go back further, on uh, this person was salary, and then they went to hour, hourly, 
and they they went from 1581 an hour to 1694 an hour and this is this is in october november i mean this is yeah here's in october of november of last year mm -hmm. i don't remember there being an approval of an increase in pay around that time from from, uh, off, from november 30th paycheck to the 12-14 paycheck, his hourly rate went from 1581 <laughs> to 1694. The only thing I remember is when I was a citizen. It was the previous court hired the part-time and the control employees when they had it. Yeah. I tend to most of the meat last year. And, and that was the moment, yes, when we did Greg. Yeah. Because Jimmy had, uh, had resigned. Mm -hmm. And we did have I that I think they done that in November. Yes. That's or December. We did it in December. November. I wasn't here yet. It was December. Well, yeah. I thought December meeting was out there. I thought it was one of the ones here. It may have been. It was out there. It was a special meeting here. So it was a special meeting in December. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. You're right. This is the prior court. Mm -hmm. Well, that's strange because normally a cost of living increase will occur in July. In, in, yeah. yeah. Because it'll be approved the June meeting before. For the, in the budget. Before. But put in the budget. So that's. I don't think that. I don't think Judge had the authority to increase the pay. And I don't recall anything before the court increasing. I, I think he brought it before the fiscal court, and I don't, I'm not sure the meeting date. Uh, you think he did? Yeah, I think he did. Okay. I just don't remember it. I can't see why he would give him a raise knowing he's going to be off for the next two months. And, and yeah. you know, going back to the, the the request to gain comp time, at the bottom of the form it easy says shall not exceed 250 hours, and the, he's got a balance of 472 up here, so how? Right. The numbers don't add up. And I'm not kidding you. You add up the... Yeah. Uh, Ten thousand uh, five hundred dollars uh, times seven point six five percent. That's an that's an extra eight hundred dollars that we had to pay. Was so it paid 11, last year? Yep, November sixteenth and November thirtieth, back to back checks. Well, the unfortunate thing here is this document, you could see the 21950 and the 22350, and it does have judge's signature. I don't think it's his signature. You don't think it is? There's other people say the same thing, Crystal, that that's not Jerry's it, it may be, it, Maybe it is. Maybe it is. And then I if you look the through some of these other times, it's the Crystal. Bottom. Now, if it's signed at the bottom, it's probably his signature. You if you look through oh, some of these timesheets, you'll see at one point, it has wrote on there 364 hours of comp time, minus 8, now 352. But then if you flip forward a little bit, you, you see that it, it goes from 352 to 480. But there's no overtime being worked to push it to 480. say going forward guys that's all the more reason we've got to get this administrative code done uh, yeah i think we need to not to change the subject but when it's coming to that we need to write down who's salary who's non-salary right. who gets comp who don't that's right yeah, it has to get be defined more something bad i agree with you and it's not going to be easy no i know i just feel like i read through it and feel like you can make it change then you get to seeing why it's rope like it is. Yeah. Yes. So. So, so with this one individual, what are we just trying to accomplish just to not paying for the first week of January and call that a vacation that week that was my opinion 
that was my opinion. No, I mean, no, actually, what what do we want to do here? Now because, we okay. Let's, let's well, it's kind of divided in two. Let's yeah about the first week. Yeah, here. let's look at that first week of January. Do we pay a, we, a work? We work pay week three pay? weeks vacation on March eighth, right? Yep. That's for the yes three weeks three, three that weeks he would have had for twenty nineteen for twenty nineteen. Did you reappoint him? No. No. Well, if he wasn't reappointed and if he. But was he worked it? one week. He was an employee until January 7th, right? Six. Six. Yeah. Did you tell him that? Did you tell him he can work until January 6th? No. And he did not. He okay. didn't show up, didn't call off. There well, was we no, shouldn't have paid him anything. No so communication if whatsoever. If he wasn't reappointed and if he didn't request, if he if he didn't work any of the January month and he wasn't appointed prior to the January month, then he's not an employee for 2019. And, if it, and I, I don't know in the private sector if you don't show up for a week, you, you miss two call days. Call in, yeah, you're out. Yeah, you're two gone. no calls, no shows. Yes, you're yeah. out the door. And you're considered determined. Right. Quit. They consider that you quit. Right. Yeah. Let's so see. Right here. The, okay, we the got the ten thousand five hundred dollars thing, though. We got the see. We got the come request up. for leave that ended on the thirtieth of, of December. Of December. Yeah. Whether that's his last, he's got six, but whether it's. Right. Is that unpaid sick time or is it? No, he really got paid. He did get paid for that. It's in, it's in here in these yeah. paycheck stubs. Mm -hmm. So his leave ended on the 30th. Yeah. So what, I don't know where he. So he would have, he would have, should have reported then? Should have reported on the 1st uh, or yeah. the 31st. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Dan's letter says and, that he did not. Right. And you know, if you look at November the second paycheck stub, he was not that. He's salary. He's a salary employee. He's got a gross wage. And then here you are, two weeks later, and now he's hourly, and gets a very substantial uh, paycheck. Back to back, two of them. So my question to the court is, what do you all want to do? <laughs> well, I, I, I'm like you guys. I don't think he was an employee there, so. Right. You know. So we've been gracious to give him the three weeks vacation. Yeah. The question is, do we want to go back and try to ask for money or? Or the $10,500. Because we, you know, even at best, it was 250 comp time, not 480. That's right. And then that shows up. And right I think, here. I think yeah. those, those numbers, I think, are 442. They don't equal 223 plus 219. Yeah, it's like 442, maybe 443, if you add the halves. Is there language that says you can roll the comp time over from year to year? With approval of the judge. Well, no, 250 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can just stay on there. But if I don't use that 250 hours this year, and roll it over. It the if I can yeah. roll it over next year, then I'd have 500. No, no, no. But you can, is the most you can, carry. you can. Yeah, you can only carry 250. And that's something I do want to address in this administrative code when we fix it or when we amend it to our what we want is uh, like the state <clears throat> will when they get to 240, they're told they have to do a block 50 something like that where they get either get paid for 50 hours or they have to take off and uh, you know, like I said the whole idea of this comp time thing I know was to uh, to encourage employees to take time off so that they don't burn out on their jobs and working for the government stressful jobs when you say <laughs> if I could have the block 50 week. thing, yeah. like the state police, you never got a block 50. If you put in for it, they just throw it in the trash. But they had a cap, and it wasn't a set in stone cap. It's whenever you got around 200 hours, and sometimes you had a big investigation, or something you could have gone up to 300 or something. But you, I promise you that your sergeant is putting you off, you know, even if you're not requested. Giving like, you time you're off. You're off next week. Yeah. <clears throat> so they, they keep an eye on it and burn it. Um, but you know they don't. They've never paid any overtime. It's it's all comp time. Anytime you work over your forty hours, 
It's automatic. It's automatic cutoff time. So, and it, does the county pay, uh, like for the road department, do they pay overtime? If they yeah. want. So they can they have a choice. Or, okay. Yeah. And the MS, they have a choice. Okay. Well, all the employees have a choice. They either take the paycheck or take the take the hours. One thing the auditor kept bringing up to me last Friday and again this morning is salary employees are not allowed to accumulate comp time. And he kept questioning me on so one week he'd be salary, one week he wasn't. He said and they he made notes and that will be readjust read addressed next year when he does the two thousand eighteen audit. He said that he wants answers as to why every other week or month he got to flip flop from salary to hourly. Thank you. Yes, He's also requested that we reach out to Jerry Powell and have him come in and tell us why. Mm -hmm. And I really hate doing that. Yeah. Be honest. Yeah. yeah. So we got eleven thousand plus some odd dollars. Mm -hmm. But well, be would it be that much? I mean, if he had two hundred and fifty, so it would be. What did you say, 452 total? What you got paid for? Or 439? 432, 433, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. 219.5 plus 223. Point that's, five. Yeah, point five. That's, that's 443 hours. So really, he would have been in an employment. Well, he could have got, he he got, been, yes. he got the 250. At the end, he would have. He would have got the 250. But he was still an active employee in November. He wasn't. There wasn't any. Any news of anything different at that point? Request off the 17th. That's the only request for leave. He was charging time just for being on call. Hmm. You're on call 24/7. The animal control guys. Yeah, he, he's got here like four hours to call. What's your page of that one? I mean, I'll throw over the balance, 480. Page of 2018 is about. I don't see where he would have been entitled to anything in January. Or, you know, especially with him turning the keys in in December. Not showing back up the first week of January to say I'm here, you know. Then I don't see where he's entitled to anything for January. Here's a request for leave vacation this fit. Now a call run, it looks like it's plus four hours. We he might have, have been called out. We may have a minimum pay. Yeah, you know? and we do if if somebody gets called out. They automatically get four hours. Okay. Yeah. No, no, that's not true. It's two hours. That would you guys have two hours? It, it's actually it's in the SOP that we've passed. Uh, I want to say back in the day, but uh, Roger Hartwood, our manager, who was the chair of the Animal Control Committee, actually sat down, and wrote an SOP that the Trumbull County Fiscal Court also agreed upon, to where if an officer got called out by the state police, sheriff's department, or local police department. Is that uh, yard max start time was two hours? It's a it's a minimum of two hours. Yes, sir. The road guys might be a little different on that since they're doing different stuff and heavier equipment. Sir, I have a question. Okay, Dan. Um, if he was, if the, the subject was paid for all his comp time in November. What did he get paid with in December if he took all comp time? Sick days. Use. Mm -hmm. Allowed to use sick days with you not being. You sick? have to have a doctor's notice. Okay. Yeah, but all that was approved in November. That, that there's a sheet in here. I think it's about the fourth one, maybe or uh, no, that shows vacation time. Uh, it's one of those. Lead requests. Yeah, it's in there. That's a lot of days to be sick. It's it is sixty four hours worth. Yeah, from Dece or yeah December seventeenth to December thirtieth. It was uh, it, well it says personal and then it's the the mark. There's a check mark by the word sick. sick. 
So how does he know he self is sick the day before? The quest on eleven days. sixteen. How do you know you're sick for that many days? Mm -hmm. well, that's a Maybe month. A month or a month before. before. Yeah. 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 But his last uh, the last day was November thirtieth, and he was at that shelter. November thirtieth is your date. Has got personal sick. We so, maybe had a surgery. I don't know. Something scheduled. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, there's just my opinion. If that was all with the prior judge and it was approved, then wouldn't that just be considered water under the bridge? It could be, but the eleven thousand dollars, I can't imagine, because it, it, in our code, you can't pay somebody for comp time after the fact unless they leave, and then that becomes another story. But this person was still an active employee and got ten thousand five hundred dollars, which is way above the two hundred fifty hours mm -hmm. already. And, and Judge Powell hasn't been called. And, it, and I don't know. And and it will go on next year's audit. Which, you know, that the guy who's been in here auditing us, uh, you know, has been very friendly about saying, well, that'll go on next year's, that'll go on next year's, or you're going to get hit for this and you need to understand it. And I don't mean this, I just mean whatever he's telling me about that I don't know about. And I say, oh, thanks. I just know there's a lot of county employees that would love to have uh, two paychecks back to back oh, with yeah. a $10,500 bonus. Well, as far as what happened prior to you coming into office, I, I don't think we can do anything about that. Being how it was signed off by the previous judge. Unless we drag him in the middle of it too. Yeah. Well, it's two big paychecks. Would that go to would that go to civil or would it be for last year's yeah. um it would go to civil if we were to get that back. However, um if in fact Judge Powell did not approve that, and a check was cut. It would require an investigation, I would think, from right. law enforcement. Well, I think he signed that form. Have you seen the checks or the canceled checks yet? They're in there. Jerry Powell and Regina were in both signed. They were the both signed. Jerry Powell, Jerry did, and the former judge did sign off. I mean, he signed off on the sick days. If he signed off on the checks, then how could it be a forgery? Unless you think that's a forgery, too. I, don't, I, don't I like can't it. imagine. J.D., I don't know how you sign off on sick days in November for Four December. December. Right. For December, you know, that's... Because his comp well, time was gone. Or there should have been some documentation with it. Right. Saying, like, you had a uh, surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it should accomplish yeah. Complete that. There's nothing in his employee file. Well, what, what are you looking to do, Todd? I, 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 I want the court to decide. Yeah, no, no. You, uh, I want the court to decide. I've, this is this is going to come out for years. Here's Next thing, year on my budget or my money audit. You're, you're the head of the chain, yeah. so we're well, looking I, for advice I think, from you too. So. I think it's criminal. I, I really do. I mean, this is this is. You, you consider the relationship between the check writer and the check uh, receiver, and you, I mean, if that don't raise some eyebrows, I, does that call for an investigation? Well, if there was possible litigation, is this something you want to talk about in that concession? All right, let's do that. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. guys. If so, I'll make Take a motion everybody else. to go in the executive session. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I second the motion. Thank you. And. Kenny, all those in favor? Uh, Aye. Uh, Aye. <laughs>
Thank you. Wait till she uh, gets yeah. that on if you want yeah, to write. Now, I'll part of one. All right. All right. So we have a motion to come out of executive session. We have a second with JD and all those in favor. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Uh, after uh, uh, coming out of executive session, um, we need to decide on how we are going to move forward on these two individuals. And um, I'm requesting a motion to state how you want to go forward. I'll make a motion to have the sheriff to investigate the two individuals. Okay. And do we have a second? A second. All right. And all those in favor? Uh, aye. 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 No opposed. All right, that's how we will go forward with that. The chainsaws, I haven't heard back from Mike. I I will call him since he didn't text. He, I was pulling them up to see about how much they were. You said 20 inch bars? He, he yes. He said small talk the other day. Yes. He said 20 or 24. Oh, good. They needed a bigger one. Yes. And the ones they had were old. They needed, yeah, needed the bigger ones. Thank you. Sir? Yes, sir. Um, with all the, the financials that are going on with the individuals paying all that, mm -hmm. it greatly affects the shelter budget because it eventually that's where it comes out of through the employee salaries. Is there any way of making an amendment hey, to Mike. where my budget for uh, the shelter does not get crushed up? by this? Because if we're looking at ten, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars on the animal shelter budget, that isn't that large. Right. And we still have to how, go how into much are June. They? How much are they, Mike? That, that's going to affect us greatly. Okay. And that's why I'm we're going forward with the investigation to yeah. see if, if we right. can uh, recoup some of these funds. Right. And at that I'll time, talk to you in the we'll, you know, Thanks, Mike. <laughs> try to help the animal shelter. You know, if it comes out of your, the animal shelter budget, then yes. it'll get reimbursed into that. So, right. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Mike said they're $199 for the 180s. 180s. Yeah. I'll make motion that uh, the road department go ahead and purchase the two chainsaws, not to exceed five hundred dollars. There you go. A second. And all those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Aye. All right. No. No opposed. All right. Well, that's all we have uh, on this on this agenda to discuss. Uh, Crystal, you want to talk to Charlie and let him know? Sure. All right. And we'll go from there. We have a motion to adjourn. We have a second. All those in favor. Uh -huh. Thank you very much.